Thing. About we will start. Good morning with some Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears. Foxbet Sportsbook has set the over under for Fields' first start a three and a half weeks into the season. We got a we got a small glimpse in Week One. Fields played five snaps, but we saw a couple of moments of what could be, including his touchdown run near the goal line. So, Lavar, do the Bears need to start Justin Fields Sunday against the Bengals to get themselves on track? I think they have to start them, and I don't think it's just to get them back on track. I think it's to get them into their future. In terms of looking at Andy Dalton, you know what you're going to get. You saw it play out once more again on Sunday against the 49ers. Uh, it's not, It's not. wait, is it the 49ers? Did I mess up the teams? I think it was. Look, the, no, it wasn't the 49ers. Against what, the Rams. Against was the Rams. The Rams. Against the Rams. The Rams. Excuse me, I'm, I'm mixing yep. my teams up. Uh, I knew it was an, uh, a West Coast team. Anyway... It played out the way that we thought it would play out, which was it wasn't what it was supposed to be. And and looking at the team, they're a better team when Justin Fields is on on the field. So don't judge me for getting the team wrong. I saw the guy <laughs> that was behind the yeah. center and it wasn't what it was supposed to be. And and again, when Justin Fields got into the game, I thought it was uh, they moved the ball. It seemed like there was more energy. Why wait? Why wait? This Bears team needs to win. Well, they need a shot in the arm, and that's why you drafted them, Nick. Why of wait? Of course. It, it's, there are only two people in the world, it would appear, that think Andy Dalton should be starting. Matt Nagy and Chris Collinsworth. Because Collinsworth gave a nice 90-minute dissertation about why the Bears are getting this right, <laughs> while all of us watched them get it wrong. It went as poorly as it could have gone. Dalton had the worst game of any quarterback in football this week, not named Aaron Rodgers. The first drive of their season, after an explosive kick return, after a good play by Fields, after a big play down the field, how does it end? Dalton picking the end zone. Dalton get to, has a strip sack in the game. Dalton was Andy Dalton. Dalton. And yeah. it is baffling that this is a hill the Bears want to die on. You know who knows they shouldn't? their own players show one of their big offseason acquisitions his quote courtesy of adam hoge marquis goodwin on the bears approach against jalen rams a unique player all pro pro bowler instinctive especially in short spaces and us not running past 10 yards that fell right into his hands i feel like oh well is that an exaggeration well now courtesy of danny parkins and next gen stats let's show andy dalton's spray chart one pass went more than 15 yards in the air and it was picked off like what are we doing here does i, I, I it's indefensible and it, it, it's rare that everyone agrees on something and sometimes it's like oh if everyone thinks i'm wrong that means i'm doing something right you hear that on twitter when it, both sides say i'm an idiot that means i'm right where i need to be or you're an idiot that's the other option the other option is everyone thinks you're wrong because you're black, wrong. Black. And I just, I don't understand it, Broussard, why it, 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 they're treating Dalton like he has earned this with his long tenure with them. He got there six months ago. So I don't get it. I just don't get it. Look, I was on board with starting Andy Dalton in week one. All right, I, I thought he deserved a shot and he could keep the position until he played poorly or Fields took it from him. Well, he played poorly. You you just spelled it out, yeah. Nick. He was horrible. So there's nothing to wait for now. And I, I want to give Nagy credit. He obviously was in Kansas City as the OC when Pat Mahomes learned as the understudy to Alex Smith for a year. And that's been what they've tried to do, right? He's viewing it like, just like Mahomes, a year on the bench for Justin Fields will be great for him. And then we'll unleash him on the world next year. And I think that that is actually putting Fields' future ahead of Nagy. So I give him credit because, to me, the best excuse for them to lose is, hey, we had a rookie quarterback, right? So if you start Fields right away, you lose a lot of games. Nagy can say to management or ownership, we had a rookie. We got to get at least another year with him before you can really judge what we're doing. So I give him credit for, I believe, putting Fields' future ahead of his own but it's time and this is not the Patrick Mahomes thing anyway because Mahomes didn't play at all in the first 15 games 
All right. Mahomes was not didn't have the college career even that Justin Fields had. And Alex Smith is much better right. than Andy Dalton. All right. He's so played better. Exactly. You're, you, Mahomes wasn't getting thrown in for cameos here every few series with Alex Smith. So you've scrapped the Mahomes plan already to just go ahead and start uh, Justin Fields. You're playing the Bengals. That's a good team for him to start against. You might even get a win. So, Aunt Wilds, it's time. It's time. Yeah. So the other weird thing that's happening is that Andy Dalton, surprise, surprise, used to play for the Bengals. So if you lose to Andy Dalton's replacement, the guy that they drafted to replace Andy Dalton, it just looks bizarre. I don't know how you go to your coach and be like, yeah, who beat us? Like Joe Burrow, like, oh, he replaced Andy Dalton, who we started. To me, that makes zero sense just narrative-wise. It's an odd story. LeVar, I want to touch on something also that Chris said about the cameos. So we saw a lot of guys getting snaps. Trey Lance got some snaps. Justin Fields got some snaps. Marcus Mariota got some snaps. Jacoby Brissett got some snaps. So do you think that a way to meet in the middle on this, if they're kind of dug in, is take uh, Justin Fields snaps from 2 to 10 or 15? Or do you think it's more of an all or nothing thing? Well, here's what's interesting, Wilds. They got rid of Gardner Minshew. They got rid of Cam Newton. So while you have guys who are taking snaps behind guys that they were competing against, they got rid of other guys and other places. I would have to lean on the side. and Listen, I'm not one to take money out of somebody's pocket. So I'm not saying this because I'm against Andy Dalton. I, I don't know the man, never met him a day in my life. But if I'm just being critical and, and being sensible about the situation, Andy Dalton it should have been on the, the scrap heap. If a Cam Newton or Gartner Minshew is mm. is on the scrap mm. heat or the check the trading block, mm. right? So really, in reality here, you're talking about a Bengals team. This is a winnable game for the Bears, right? But then you go into another game. You you go after the Bears and well, you I mean the the Browns. Then you have the after Browns. The excuse me, after the Bengals, right? You have yeah. the Browns. That's going to be a very tough game for them. The Browns, even in a loss, are a. a uh, a good team all right then you get right, right. The, the lions the detroit lions that's a winnable game you got two winnable games you got the Bengals this week and you got and you you get an opportunity to go against the detroit lions and after that you have the raiders green bay and the bucks i don't see that being a, a stretch where i'm going to feel confident throwing Justin Fields into one of those matchup and those mix mixes. Why not get him in right now in a Bengals game? I could care less about the sentimental value right. of giving uh, giving Dalton the opportunity to play against his former team. Get Justin Fields ready in a game like this. Get him a small win so he can get smaller wins and move towards getting confidence for those bigger games. Because going into those bigger games with an Andy Dalton, you've already sealed your fate in terms of what you're going to be in those games. I just think that it's already pronounced what Andy Dalton is going to be, Nick. Yeah. And the Alex Smith stuff is going to drive me nuts. I, that's my team. Alex Smith had taken that team to the playoffs three times in the previous four years. He was coming off a double-digit win season, and Mahomes was far rawer coming out of a far less prestigious program than Justin Fields and Alex Smith, so way better player than Andy Dalton. And, yes. by the way, it was a mistake. They should have gone to Mahomes midway through the year. They might not have had Marcus Mariota march into Arrowhead and beat Alex Smith and the Chiefs because they scored zero second half points. So it's it's not a comparable situation. And even if it was, I would have hoped Nagy would have learned from the mistake. But at least with Alex Smith, there was the personal aspect of we owe it to him. He's been here with us for years. He has won games for us. He's been a great or a very good player for us. That part of it. None of that exists with Andy Dalton. You know what they owe Andy Dalton? $10 million. They'll pay him. Good for him. Good for them. They owe their fans who have not had a franchise quarterback since Sid Luckman when their grandparents were children to watch <laughs> Justin Fields play. Not watch Andy Dalton throw red zone picks for no reason at all. It's indefensible. It's just indefensible.
All right, well, if there's a quarterback controversy in Chicago, there is none in Green Bay, despite how Aaron Rodgers played last week. Aaron Rodgers did some talking about the disaster that was